Hi, this is Fred, and these are my top five life hacks, volume three, restaurant style. That's right, server, waiter, bartender, top five life hacks. If you like this video, please click on the link below. And at the end of this video, look for all of my other videos. Thanks for watching. So it's happened to all of us. You're in the middle of your shift and you have the hiccups and they just won't go away. Every time you go to the table, it's either super funny or super embarrassing. Life hack to get rid of the hiccups is simple sugar. What you're going to do is take the sugar packet, pour it on the back of your tongue and swallow it. Uh, the sweetness will totally get rid of your hiccups every time. Now if you're at home and you don't have the sugar packets like we do, just take a teaspoon of sugar and do the same thing. Put the sugar on the back of your tongue and it'll get rid of the hiccups every time. So it's the end of your shift and you have to clean the microwave. Ugh. It's a train wreck in there because we've heated up every sauce and every dessert in there possible. So uh, restaurant hack, life hack, what you're going to do is you're going to take a microwave safe uh, cup or platter, you're going to fill it with water and add lemons to it. We added three lemons to it, squeeze the lemons so the lemon and the lemon juice is in there. If you don't have lemons, the lemon juice in the bottle will work perfectly. What you're going to do is you're going to put it in your microwave for three minutes. At the end of three minutes, when the microwave is done, you're going to let it sit for another two minutes. When that's done, you're going to take a damp towel and wipe everything right off your microwave. If you've had stuff in your microwave for months, it should come right off in addition to that. Okay, your table's eating wings or ribs, and you go to get some wet wipes, and lo and behold, your restaurant's out again. Darn it! Restaurant hack to uh, give your guests uh, the same experience they've had without the wet naps. You're going to grab an appetizer plate, you're going to add some napkins to the appetizer plate, you're going to add a little bit of water just to give them a little moisture, and then you're going to squeeze one lemon on them. Put them in the microwave for 10 seconds. When they come out of the microwave, put a separate lemon on top and deliver it to your table like this. It'll be the same effect as a wet napkin. Enjoy. Okay, so it's the beginning of your shift and you realize that your side work is the dessert area. This works at home as well if you're doing something with breading or batter or baking in fact. So what you're going to do is the beginning of your shift, you have a nice pristine work area. You're going to take your plastic wrap, you're going to bring it up to the work area. And what you're going to do is you're going to actually coat your work area with a little layer of our plastic wrap here to keep it nice and neat throughout the shift. So if anything does spill on it, you're just going to actually, at the end of the shift, just pick it up and wipe it away. Plus, you can clean the cellophane. Now, honestly, this is how it looks like when it's done. I did a really quick and crappy job. Uh, but this is the premise to keep your area clean. So say you get some caramel all over it, or even some chocolate. Oh, that's terrible. And then someone walks over with some hot sauce. Holy crap, not hot sauce, but that's what happens. At the end of the shift, you know, you don't even need to wipe I mean, you're going to wipe it down. You're just going to literally peel the plastic right up and throw that away. Resanitize and you're set for your next shift. Restaurant hack is actually a two for one hack, which means you get two hacks for the price of one. Uh, first hack is uh, at the end of the night, we do not throw away all of our old newspapers that have been sitting on the bar. We take them and in the morning when we put a new plastic bag in our garbage pails, we actually put the old paper at the bottom of the the plastic bag because what this does is the newspaper will absorb any extra liquid that might have been thrown away in the garbage so for our team member that's throwing the garbage away they don't get uh, disgusting garbage juice all over them. Second hack is all of our garbage pails. When someone grabs the garbage to throw it out we actually keep all of our backup plastic bags underneath in the garbage so as soon as that bag is thrown out the team member will just grab a new bag and uh, reline the pail, and you're set to go without searching for new. Again, thanks for watching. We appreciate you taking this time to watch the video. If you like this video, please click on the link below, and at the end of this video, look for all of my other videos. If you have any restaurant hacks, pranks, or bar tricks that you don't think I know or you'd like me to do, please leave them in the comments below. Again, thanks for watching.